Hi Libra and welcome to your Twin Flame journey for May 2019. I am going to try to bring messages for joined Twin Flames, separated Twin Flames, as well as those of you who have yet to meet your Twin Flame. I will look at the reading with your energy on this side, okay, and read from that aspect. So Libra, if you resonate more as yourself being over here, that's fine. Go ahead and swap it. But for the sake of the reading, this is the side that I see you on. Um, now, if you are single and you find yourself resonating with one side, then you can assume that the message coming through on the other side of the reading is talking about what your twin flame is going through right now, what they're working on, and also what you're working on, because we're going to look at, you know, heart, mind, and soul, and then we're going to look at the energies between the two of you, and what's going on, what lessons are playing out, all right? So Libra, let's start your reading. I'm going to pull a card here to look at what's going on in the heart space of you, as well as the heart space of your twin flame for the rest of May. All right, over here on this side, we have love yourself. So Libra, you may be in a place of feeling like you need to preserve, protect, or defend yourself, um, whether we are together or separated from our twin flame. Um, and you, there's, okay, so I need to back up. If we're with our twin flame, we're in a place right now on the journey where the focus is shifting away from the twin flame and needs to go to self because um, we're not being honored, we're not being cherished, there's something going on here. So if we're connected, Libra, there's an imbalance of the energy. Now, if we're separated from each other, uh, Spirit's coming in big time saying that during this time of separation, Libra, you need to work on really loving yourself and honoring yourself and recognizing your worth and your value. Now, those of you who are single and have not met your twin flame, Spirit's saying um, you're kind of on a self-love journey right now, whether you're dating somebody or not. Um, you need to focus on discovering who you are and getting really in tune with your soul because twin flame connection and union is more about soul than it is about this fairy tale romance in life, okay? Wow, look at that on the other side of this. Heal your wounds. Okay, um, Libra, so both sides of the reading are in a place of healing right now, whether we're together or we're apart or we have yet to meet each other. Um, to me, you guys have been through a lot, okay, both of you, um, maybe through childhood experiences, through friendships, through other relationships. Um, but in May, Libra, you and your twin flame are both being really called to the carpet to face your inner demons, to face your old wounds that are not healed, to face your insecurities, to face your shadow and purge and heal. And that's beautiful because if we have yet to meet or we're separated, this to me is the purge, the purification that's taking place so we can elevate and come together. If we are still in a partnership, um, you guys, man, through May, Spirit's cleaning you both out, trying to get rid of a lot of old crap so that you guys can elevate as the crystalline twin flame union, okay? So let's pull a card here to see what's going on in your um, heads, what's going on in the mental body for both of you in the month of May. All right, the shadow, karmic soul contracts and lessons. Libra, that's coming out on the side that I see you. So there's some karmics that maybe you need to resolve. And um, whether these karmics are in your life or not in your life, you need to heal from what happened, okay? If they're still present, you might want to think about cutting those relationships off and working on healing 
everything you've been through. If they're no longer existing in your world, now is the time to heal everything that happens with these karmics, the shadow within. Oh my goodness. And over on this side is a journey's end, acceptance, breakup, transformation. This would be the death card. Um, Libra, so this would be the devil. This would be the death card. Love yourself. Heal your wounds. It is such a mirror. Are you kidding me? Like, this is such a mirror. You both, uh, you guys are going to just come into new versions of yourself. Um, if we're together, I don't know. Um, we might decide to take a break, Libra, if this is really speaking to you. And it's not forever after type of break. It's like you guys are taking a break because you both really need to heal. I don't know. Those of you who are already separated or have yet to meet in May, expect every thing that you've ever tried to sweep under the rug to just show up and Spirit's trying to make you face it because these energies must be purged before this twin flame union can come together. But man, it's like I feel this really like accelerated, rapid pace to this uh, energy. Like it, it's time to heal. It, the past is the past. Karmic contracts fulfilled, done, over with. We have to accept all that's been. So um, let's look at this from a soul perspective, Libra. What's going on in that space? All right, that's two. Illuminated mind. Yeah, look at this. Spirit's really trying to break you free from the karmic energy. Those you have fulfilled, you are done. The wounds that have um, you've been left with, it's time to shatter them because underneath you're fully illuminated. Like you, Libra, you're really being awakened for this, okay? And over on this side, we have chakras and auras. Um, this uh, coming out with all of this, um, with those other two cards, they, your twin really could uh, benefit from some Reiki. And um, I feel the chakra and auras is coming out because it's an iteration of how deep these wounds are. And uh, with Journey's End, it's almost like this is a, a, a personality death. Like this person experiences a death of self like entirely. And there's a new version of them that's birthed forward. Okay. This could even be like that. Per like they've gone through a near death experience okay I mean just with this lineup and um, in saying that over here it's the same thing where you you're who you used to be is being completely stripped away and you're becoming somebody brand new like again it's still mirroring so heart mind and soul completely mirrored all the way across and Libra um, you're my seventh reading, and this is the first reading where it's been like that, where it's just mirrored all the way across heart, mind, and soul. And I feel spirit is really uh, right now working on you both to clear out all the old so you can expand in every way and then come together. Let's pull a card to see what the energy is that's existing between the two of you. And you know, some of you um, who are together, this could be where you guys are actually healing together, where, um, you know, is this isn't a bad thing. Like, you guys are healing together as twin flames. All right. So, the energy that exists in between, we have the true man, emotionally mature and wholeheartedly devoted. This, to me, is um, the energy that you both are growing into where you are both emotionally healed grown and mature and in that space you can wholeheartedly be devoted to each other all right so let's uh pull some tarot and take a look at how all this energy is playing out
All right. So uh, this is Twin Flames, Three of Twin Flames. This is all about patience and timing. Um, you both have a lot of healing to do here. And uh, this is the Ace of Karmic Energy. All that glitters isn't gold. And I think you both have come to realize that. And now we have the Feminine of Heart Energy. This is uh, either you, Libra, or your partner here. And this person really loves, it really cares, is a very genuine soul. Definitely a soulmate, if not, um, you know, Twin Flame. And now we have the Two of Karmic Energy. This, Libra, there's you have a false tribe member. Either you or your twin flame where these are false friends, people you can't trust. So if you have any sort of sense that uh, somebody in your world really doesn't have the best intentions for you or your twin flame, here is your confirmation of you are 100% correct. And now we have the masculine of karmic energy coming in. So we have a feminine heart energy and a masculine of karmic energy so there's well you know what I don't let's let's see okay action now okay now we have some twin flames and this here is I'm working on myself I'm doing what I need to do to grow and figure myself out so um I get a couple things with this I don't really feel like there's karmic uh, interference like a karmic partner interference what I feel about that is um, that's what we're healing from is the karmic energies and because it's coming out as masculine of karmic energy that's just letting me know that again you both have been through a lot of crap with karmic partners f and fake friends and promises made that just fizzle out and never are fulfilled. You both have been through a lot of those similar experiences. And so to me, this is you two, okay? The, the total sweetheart and the curious person who, how can I better myself? Who am I? What am I capable of? I want to be a better person. You know, I want to learn about the world around me. I want to experience life. I want to be, you know, this is not somebody who takes advantage, who uses, who abuses. This is somebody who is very in tune with their, their soul. This is somebody who is very in tune with their heart. So this is what I see you guys growing into. This is what we're working on. This is our potential. But These energies have really hurt both of you along your life journey. Fake friends, some crappy family members, karmic partners, and then promises like I will give you the sun, moon, and stars for it to just fade away. So, um, Libra, I totally understand. All right, I'm like, I did this all wrong, and Spirit's like, nope, that's okay. I mean, putting them back up is what I mean. I'm like, what order were these in? Okay. Um, but we we have got to have some patience because I'm telling you, you both are in need of some serious healing. So let's clarify these cards. All right. Well, that one had to come out. That one had to come out. Okay. So our jumper. Temporary reconnection. Um, healing soulmate. So you know what? Libra, some of you who are separated or have yet to meet your twin flame, in the month of May, you may have a temporary reconnection with a healing soulmate this is somebody who um you know you could it could be this what i feel about this is like when we're together we're together when we are apart we're just whatever like and it's not like a friends with benefits type of connection it is but it's not negatively tainted like that like there's genuine 
uh, emotion and connection between you and this person. It's just, I feel you both are hung up on your twin flames. Um, or you, if you haven't met your twin flame, you know that this isn't the one for you. You guys just have a really good connection. And um, Libra, I feel that this person is coming back into your life temporarily in May to help you with some of this healing process, okay? Um, personal life path journey. Yeah, because you and your twin um, are meant to walk separate paths right now, okay? Um, because we're going to come into some deep revelations here. And um, other influences, this is what we're healing from. And lastly, intimate conversation. Nice. Okay. So Libra, um, those of you who are still in partnerships, um, I think you guys, this healing soulmate energy might be a mutual friend or a connection that you both know that kind of shows back up in your world and helps the two of you really make sense of everything you've been going through, okay? Like this could even be a therapist. Um, no, I feel this is somebody you guys already know. And this person just shows up because it's a soulmate to both of you and um, really helps you guys come into understanding with this intimate conversation and sort out the differences between your connection and all this other energy of karmics and heartache and lessons that is, uh, you know, heavy on both of you right now. So uh, some Libras out there, there could be that type of energy coming in for those of you who are in um, connections right now to help the two of you figure this out and move past it, okay? Um, again, separated could be this type of energy, you know, that friends, but we, when we're together, we're together, when we're apart, whatever, coming in um, to really help. Or this could just be a really good friend showing up and helping you make sense of everything, the fake friends, the karmic energy, the wounds that need to be healed on both sides. Um, those of you who are completely single and have yet to meet your twin, I don't think May is the month, all right? Um, I feel, if anything, if you meet a new person, that it's more of a, a healing soulmate um, to help you overcome, you know, your wounds in preparation of this twin flame union, okay? So, um, let me just see if I get anything else. Yeah, Libra, you guys are, those of you who are separated, you guys are both really coming to the end of that separation. Um and with temporary reconnection, if we do come together, it's just for a moment. It's just like a conversation or we run into each other. Um, if we're separated, I don't think either one of you are ready just yet with um, personal life journey here. There's a lot of healing that still needs to happen and take place um, in both of you. Um, those of you, like you could be talking, um, but again, I just, I don't feel that May is when we come together and say, okay, let's do this. It's after the healing takes place, okay? So Libra, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.